Hello Sporters! Welcome to Endless Sport Time. Ron Harper may have been one of the forgotten players, on the Chicago Bulls championship team in the late 1990s, but his role has been revived, thanks to the documentary, The Last Dance. Harper was a five-time NBA champion, playing for the Cleveland Cavaliers, Los Angeles Clippers, Los Angeles Lakers, and the Chicago Bulls, from 1986 to 2001. During his playing days, he was one of those players, known to be able to guard Michael Jordan, both as an opponent, and as a teammate during practices. He's also one of those former NBA players from the Jordan days, who believe that, the so-called GOAT, needed a bigger athletic body, than what people think. Without further ado, here are five more things, you should know about Harper. 1. He was a Mid-American star. Harper played college basketball in Miami, Ohio, which was in the Mid-American Conference. The former Red Hawks star, became the first conference player, to score 2,000 points, and grab 1,000 rebounds, in his college career. He also holds his college record for points per game, with 19.8 points. He also became the first player in school history, to have his number being retired. 2. He wanted to guard Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan first rose to fame, in the 1989 NBA playoffs, when he hit the shot, over Craig Elo, that sends the Bulls to the next round. On the last dance, Harper revealed that, he wanted to defend on Jordan, and claimed that, he defend against Jordan more than anyone else. In one episode, Harper said, Coach, I got MJ. I got MJ. So the coach tells me, I'm going to put Elo on MJ. And I am like, yeah, okay. Whatever. Fuck this Bulls. Elo later disputed the idea, in an interview with the Cleveland Plain Dealer, saying that Harper had never talked about defense, or guarding people. 3. Harper spoke about Jordan's role players. In a 2019 podcast interview, Harper agreed that, Jordan was a great player, but also said, Jordan had great role players. He is one of the few players, who have mentioned how important, Jordan's role players has been to his own successes. Harper said, MJ is a great player, but without his role players, he would not have won as many championships as he had. When he started with the first championship, he had a young Horace Grant, young Pippen, young BJ Armstrong, veteran in Bill Cartwright, and John Paxson, and a great basketball coach. 4. He played with both Kobe Bryant, and Michael Jordan. Harper is one of the few players, who had the privilege of playing alongside Michael Jordan, and the late Lakers star, Kobe Bryant. Harper joined the Lakers in 1999, and played with the Lakers until his retirement in 2001. He provided important minutes for the team, while winning back-to-back -back games. He told the LA Times in 2015, Everybody always asks me who was better, MJ or Kobe, because I played with both of them in their heyday, in their prime. Kobe was great, and I mean very great player, one of the best ever. But MJ, he was out of this world. Then he was asked, who would you want to take the last shot in a game, MJ or Kobe? MJ, right? Good. He answer, I am taking number 23, MJ. But I have so much respect for Kobe, and I know he is at peace now, and he is going out, and having fun. 5. His post-retirement. Harper became an assistant coach, for the Detroit Pistons in 2005, and remained on the bench until 2007. His contract expired, and he hasn't appeared on the bench ever since. His son, Ron Harper Jr. played basketball at Rutgers University, and even though he went undrafted, he had a place in the Toronto Raptors. He is also the godfather, to the NBA player, RJ Hunter. We have come to the end of this video. I hope you learned something new from this one. Share your impressions about this video with us in the comments section down below. Also, if you think I left out something, please bring it up. See you all, in the next video.